calculation by the area by calculating the area of the shuttering required then we will know the exact shuttering calculation other method we have thumb rule method by using thumb rule method we can calculate the estimated shuttering near to the exact calculation So here let's we start our topic today. Suppose we have a covered area is 4000 square feet and our there we need to construct the RCC slab. We need to calculate the quantity for shuttering. I will calculate some materials used for shuttering like plywood, nails, shuttering oil and MS clamps, mild steel clamps. So, given data we have covered area 4000 square feet, shuttering type is wooden. The quantity of shuttering we have to calculate. Here, we will use the thumb rule method to calculate the shuttering. As we know that we have two methods to calculate the shuttering. First one is the area method. We just calculate the area of the slab, area of the column, area of the beam. Then we know that our, how much shuttering is required for the same area we required the same area of the shuttering. But here we use the thumb rule method to save the time because thumb rule method is used and we design this method after so much experience in the field. So this is actually the thumb rule method is designed by the engineers who are working on the sites. So this is the calculation by thumb rule is almost equal to the exact calculation. So it this method will save the time and will also calculate the almost exact calculation required for shuttering. So let's we start the solution here. The wind quantity of shuttering is calculated in numbers or running feet. Here I want to explain you what is thumb rule. We choose a constant number for the approximate quantity calculation with the help of our experience and our daily practice. This is just designed by engineers who are working on the site having a experience they designed approximately constant number to calculate the shuttering calculation to save the time here next what is running feet i want to explain that we calculate the quantities in shuttering in numbers or in running feet running feet is defined as the object front face width and height is to be considered as fixed but how long is the object was to be mirrored in running feet this is the calculation of running feet i mean turning feet it means the length of the object so first we have plywood calculate plywood we know that here most in most of the cases plywood thickness is 12 millimeter and it's here the size of the plywood is 8 feet by 4 feet it is mostly used with the, this size so to calculate the number of plywoods we have the formula th uh, for the thumb rule we have 0 0.02 multiply with the 
covered area of the slab. So our covered area of the slab is 4000 square feet. Let me calculate it on the calculator. Here you will see 4000 multiplied by 0 0.02. So we require 80 numbers of plywood. This is how we easily can calculate using thumb rules. So our calculation will also be almost equal to the exact one. So it will save our time. Next we have to calculate wooden patterns. Size of the wooden pattern 3 inch by 3 inch. Covered area we required 4000 square feet into thumb roll 0.4 for wooden patterns. Let me calculate it on the calculator. 1000 into thumb rule for wooden pattern 0 0.4 1600 So, running feet we require 1600 running feet of wooden patterns because these are very small in size so these are calculated in running feet next we have beam bottom plates their thickness 1.5 inch beam bottom plates so covered area is 4000 square feet and thumb rule to calculate beam bottom plates we have 0 0.24 let me calculate it on the calculator 4000 our slab covered area into thumb rule for beam bottom plates 0 0.24 960 running feet beam bottom plates required 960 running feet beam bottom plates required next we have wooden bellies for slab covered area into thumb rule covered area is 4000 Square feet and into thumb rule for wooden bellies we have 0 0.16. Let me calculate it on the calculator 4000 slab covered area into thumb rule for wooden bellies 0 0.16. 640 number of wooden bellies we require. These are mere in numbers. Next for beam, we have beam bottom plates running feet into thumb row. We know that we just calculate is beam bottom for beam bottom plates. We calculate running feet 960. So we will just here. Put the value of bar beam bottom bottom plate running feet 960 to calculate the number to calculate the number of values required for the beam. First, we calculated the number of values required for slab. Now we will calculate the number of wooden values required for beam. By just multiplying beam bottom plate running feet into thumb rules. A 960 into 0 0.5. We call 480 numbers of beam bottom plates. So first we calculated their running feet and then we calculated their numbers. So mild steel clamps. Next, and we have mild steel clamps. Covered area is 4000. Thumb room for mild steel clamps is 0 0.08. 0 0.08. Sorry. 4000 into 0 0.08. Thumb room for MS clamps. Mild steel clamps. Now, 320 number of clamps we require and the last we require we will calculate shuttering oil so in liters covered area into 
thumb rule we have 0.006 button calculate shuttering area of shuttering oil required for our shuttering 4000 into 0.006 thumb rule for the shuttering oil so we require 24 liters of shuttering oil for our shuttering work so this was our topic we just did it thanks for watching this lecture please stay tuned for next here notes the point that if you want to calculate exact then you must need to calculate the area of the slab to calculate the shuttering area required but these thumb rules save your time and all these also do the almost exact calculation.